Whew. It's pretty heavy. I have got maybe 60 pound pack on my back right now. I have my skis. I have food and fuel for six days. Fuel for three people. Very, very warm clothing. A negative 10 Fahrenheit sleeping bag, sleeping mat, parts of a four season tent. Hey, a dog with me. Skis, ski boots, water bottle, clothing. Did I say clothing? Uh, other essential items like contacts and contact solution. Well, at this point, I think I'm going to open my bag and take the soap out. I think I'm going to consider that one a non-essential for the first ten days, uh, for the first five days of the Alaska trip. So for the first several days, we're going to have to carry in all of our stuff, hike in until the toe of the glacier. It's about 20 miles up the river valley. That's the Slims River to the Kaskawalsh, to the Kaskawalsh Glacier. There's my trail. We'll be going 20 miles up the Slims River to the Kaskawalsh Glacier, and then up the Kaskawalsh Glacier several days until Lynn flies in and a bush pilot's gonna drop her off in the glacier to meet us. And she's gonna bring in our sleds and the first so the second part of the trip's food supply, which is 12 days. When she flies out, about 12 days, uh, f f no, the first part of the food supply is 14 days. She'll only be there 12 days, so we've got a couple days extra. When she flies out, oh, tree. When she flies out, the pilot will bring in our third resupply, which is, mm, we're not really sure. We think about 15 days worth of food, but we still have to figure that out. Woo, branches! My ski poles are very high up right now because otherwise they were hitting me in the leg, butt, hamstring region. So I've got to be pretty careful with these branches that I'm passing overhead. Lots of branches. We're in White Horse and we are going to take off tomorrow! So not for the actual glacier. Tomorrow we're gonna head south and go back to Alaska actually and check in with the border patrol there to get our pre-clearance for crossing the Canadian Alaskan, the Yukon Alaskan border. Um, I see a tree and I'm gonna lean against it. The Yukon Alaskan border in the wilderness between Kluwani. Where's the tree? Oh my God, I have to trust that the tree's there. Oh, there it is. Whew between the Kalani National Park and the Wrangell St. Elias, Elias National Park. So we'll do a wilderness crossing there and we'll continue down the glacier there, which is gonna be the Bagley Ice Field. Once we get to the Bering, Justin is gonna leave from there. He'll get picked up by a pilot. John and I might leave with him, depending on how things are going. Otherwise, the goal is to continue down the Bering Glacier as far as we can get with minimal gear, minimal gear being pretty much what's on my back right now, which is not very minimal. It'll actually be lighter than this because hopefully we can ditch our skis and ski boots. Um, and we're going to attempt to bushwhack a good, mm, a good 30 miles from Justin's pickup point to the beach there at the toe of the Bering Glacier, where then John and I will get picked up by a bush pet and then go home. Or maybe turn around and go all the way to the Arctic Ocean, which I really want to see. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I might be ready to go home and see Lynn at that point, and I might be ready to go home and see my grandma and my parents and my little nieces and nephews and, and my friend Melissa and Gemma. But for now, we've got a big adventure ahead of us, and um, just staying focused pretty much on the tasks at hand. Taking a little walk through the woods right now to test things out. Got a lot of stuff. Oh, it's getting heavy. 
Okay, I've gotta get I gotta say goodbye to this tree. One, two, three. <laughs> ah. Lots of gear. Ah, time to turn around and go home. Back to Kirsty's house. And finish resupply number two and resupply number three. This is going to be my last entry until we're actually on the glacier. So, the next videos are going to be the preparation that we went through to get ready for this very major trip. Love you all, and I'll see you when I get home.